Hey everyone, I'm Tony Monaco, and welcome to Hammond B3, Sounds and Settings 2. <laughs> while since I did one of these sounds and settings videos and I was thinking today before I get ready for some of my student lessons this would be an opportunity to share some different sounds with you that I didn't share on my first one and please click the link on the bottom to go visit the first Tony Monaco Hammond B3 sounds and settings because I put a whole bunch of different ideas there the first time that I wanted to discuss a couple of different ones with you today and I think they're cool ones. One is how to use the second harmonic percussion in getting a piano-like sound. That was the first sound that I was using. And then using a draw bar configurations known as salt for a open full organ sound that doesn't overwhelm. Like sometimes when you pull out all the draw bars, it kind of gets a little overwhelming, you know? But sometimes, just using an array of draw bars or different arrays, that'll make the sound open up, but yet not sound so uh, overwhelming. So there's a couple of sounds I wanted to share with you today. They're known as salt and pepper. And we'll look at both of those kind of sounds and also take a look at this second harmonic and using the, a piano-like kind of sound with a couple of different variations that I think you're really going to enjoy. So here we go. On the piano sounds, when you use the second harmonic, it is in pitch with the note that you play. You'll notice that there's two different percussion settings, the third and the second. And when you play them, let me push this draw bar in so you only hear the percussion sound. You'll notice they have two different tones. This would be a C natural. Using the second harmonic, can you hear that it's playing a C? But when you go to the third harmonic, oh my, it's playing a, a G. That's right. So the third harmonic is going to play the fifth interval of the tone, and the second harmonic is going to play the tone. So if you want your percussion to sound like the key you're playing in, then you need to use the second harmonic sound because that's going to be in key with the organ. And you'll notice, other than the first draw bar, see the first draw bar, the third draw bar, the fourth draw bar, the sixth draw bar, and the last draw bar. Let me turn the percussion off so you can hear it. Those all represent these tones, the original tones. The other draw bars actually play different harmonics. Listen to this. There's a fifth. There's a fifth. There's a third. Hear it? A little different. And there's a fifth. So if you wanted to play a chord, you could pull the last three draw bars out, and you're playing a major chord. See, because you have the third, the fifth, and the root. So that's how you do that with your percussion sounds is we're going to take a look at now using just the second harmonic sound, okay? 
and I've got my percussion set to normal so it's not soft I want it to be as loud as it can be and so the settings on the percussion the second one this one right here says percussion volume soft being normal being it's louder okay so then you've got decays the the third one lets it decay real fast you see and the and the slow decay makes it decay a little bit longer now sometimes on these sounds I like to use the slow decay so that the percussion stays in longer and you'll notice that when you have percussion on it doesn't matter what your vibrato chorus settings are the percussion doesn't go through the scanner it goes straight on the output so whatever sounds that you use that are organ sounds they will take advantage and I'm gonna show you why this is cool now in a minute so your percussion sounds all right they're just coming straight out right so if you want your percussion to hang in there a little longer put it on slow decay right now you're gonna say well how about let's bring in a tone so that this got a little bit more sustainability and a little bit of more of an organ tone in it so you start to pull out the draw bar you see I'm pulling out the third draw bar it's the same note but it's giving me some of the organ tone now notice though you hear the vibrato so depending on what kind of sound you want and you can actually do a few other things with it like if you really want it to sound a little bit different you can mess around rather than using the C3 chorus use vibrato 2 whoa so that's gonna sound more like a vibraphone sound let's try vibrato 1 it's got an interesting soundscape going underneath it you got the dry so depending on what you like you can change your vibrato settings or chorus settings to find one that's a little bit more vibrato so you would probably like you hear the texture underneath it so you get a little bit of that now you can always blend you know the organ with adding a little bit of reverb right and take the organ back a little bit so that you're hearing more of the percussion a little bit vibrato like uh, like a vibraphone right now you want to slow that down use the v1 you want a lot of it use the v3 it's a little overwhelming right but just the c3 chorus which is the standard it's a nice sound in there too right listen to that very cool so experiment because remember that the organ is a synthesizer so you can like add different textures and different layers as you start to know the instrument now that you know the percussion doesn't go through the uh, chorus generator you know that the sound that you're hearing from the percussion is going to be pure wow isn't that cool textures but sometimes you might want no texture at all you just want a little bit of extra it's giving you a little bit more now you can hear more of the organ tone rather than the percussion so you blend it and we work with blending just like you would with a mixer right put a little bit less more percussion less organ you see so that's how you work with that okay now let me show you a couple of other sounds and so you can mess around with it one's called salt and one's called pepper so I'm gonna turn the percussion off and on this set of draw bars I'm gonna pull out the first one the second one the fifth one 
the seventh one and the eighth one now when you use these dark ones remember there are different intervals so this one this first one is going to be the tone this is going to be a fifth this is going to be a fifth this is going to be a third and this is going to be a fifth and now we're going to be in different octaves right so when you hear these kind of sounds they're going to remind you more of reeds like clarinetty kind of sounds wow doesn't that sound a little bit like a clarinet if you So experiment with different combinations of these dark draw bars that's why we're calling it pepper because of the dark draw bars right the first one being the fundamental octave right the lowest tone the rest of them being intervals like fifths and of course the one third so you can blend those but having this third out is what does it too so having that is a very important part of it That's the peppery sound. Now on the other side, the salt sound. So notice I'm using two, per, two different presets. The salt sound, I'm using the first one because of course that's giving me the fundamental main tone. And then I'm using the third, the fourth, the sixth, and the ninth, all of the light colored draw bars except for the first one. And that's gonna be a little bit more um, it won't have all those intervals, so it's gonna sound a little bit more just wide in the tone. They're all kind of like octaves of each other. Reedy sound. Put a little bit of chorus vibrato did you see how it brightened it up so like if you wanted to do a little bit of a big band interpretation you could get those different sounds like i got that reverb going because i like sometimes to hear that reverb going through the leslie speaker hear it and i'm just pedal toning right I'm pedal toning a G over a D minor 9, D minor 7. Now I'm going to go to salt, right? I'm using fast Leslie. Saxes down here. Switch to pepper. Saxophones. The reeds, right? Drop them down an octave. Switch. Back to salt. Mm-hmm. Slow the Leslie down. Some sax. A clarinet solo. If you like to make it more of a dry sound, take the chorus off. Put the chorus back on. Some Leslie, back to salt, some chords. Some saxophones. Mm -hmm. I'm going to 
get ready for some percussion sounds, right? Now I'm going to slow the Leslie down. Whoops, sorry about that. See how we need some more? So we're just going to pull a little more of this to help it. See, it's a little louder. Back to some big band. Some more saxes, right? Some percussion now. Fast Leslie switched my sound. Yeah. Little expression pedal. Well, I hope this helped. You know the organ is not built to just play one sound. It's an orchestra. And you know I refer down here to saxophones. Because I kind of think that the 848 combination for the bass and comp can be looked at as like a guitar, right? Playing chords. But you can also kind of envision this as being either saxophones in a big band array and sometimes if you add a lot of reverb and you slide you can almost hear these as violins and to get that kind of sliding technique you just press very lightly and use the tips of your fingernails and the tip of your finger to come down and when you go up Use this part of your fingernails and turn your right hand and miss the sharps and flats. So there's your violins or your saxes. Turn some reverb down. Whoops, a little bit still more. Hmm? Hey, if you'd like to know more about me, please visit my website, b3monaco.com. Don't forget to check out the last Tony Monaco Hammond B3 settings and sounds and enjoy. And by the way, if you feel like supporting me, there's a couple of ways you can do it. God bless you. Thank you. And have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Hammond organ.